Hi, I'm Judy, obstetrician, gynecologist and fertility specialist in Perth. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, the topic of early pregnancy symptoms. In early pregnancy, the body releases hormones like progesterone, estrogen and HCG, uh, which is the pregnancy hormones. So it's not unusual to have so-called side effects of those hormones. Firstly, estrogen and progesterone, a uh, particular progesterone level will be quite high. So um, symptoms will be like breast tenderness, bloatedness, fluid retention. Um, so many patients or many women actually will would, um, even experience this during before their period, premenstrual symptoms, if the body um, is um, tend to be more sensitive. If not, um, you know, in pregnancy, the level can be even higher. So it could be the first time they have symptoms like that. Um, the secondly is HCG. And again, some women might experience uh, nausea and vomiting. So um, at least about 80% of women would experience a bit of nauseousness, sickness. And that's pretty common. And, um, but almost 9 out of 10 women by 20 weeks the symptoms uh, are totally gone. Um, sadly, uh, I've seen some patients uh, who remained really, really sick all through their pregnancies. Um, and you know, some of those patients may need to be admitted to the hospital for uh, treatment. If they can't eat, can't drink really dry, then you might need to have some fluids and other treatments to, uh, to improve the symptoms. It's a bit like breaking the circle um, the adverse cycle. Uh, for example, some patients really, if you can't eat, can't drink, you're really dry and you know, you get more and more unwell and more and more sick. What we do is some patients even um, go to the hospital um, to have um, a bag of fluid through the veins and then they go in, have it done and, uh, and then they go home straight away. It's not admission, but you know, they get the body some fluid um, so that the system starts um, to feel a bit better and uh, after that we try other things to, to, other things to control. Um, that works for some patients, um, as mentioned, but not all. Some patients really, if you're in that extreme of really unwell patients, some patients do need to go into hospital quite a few times to get on top of that. Um, thankfully, most patients don't have uh, this extreme of symptoms and also uh, most, as mentioned, will improve. Now the other worries patients ask me is some patients don't have any symptoms at all. They say, I don't feel pregnant, doctor, you know, is that something I should worry about? It's very subjective. Um, some of the, some women's body are just not as sensitive or to have the side effects of those hormones. If pregnancy is going well, say, hey, enjoy, you know, um, that means uh, pregnancy is going well, there's no side effects so-called and just enjoy the journey. Um, there are some patients who initially experience um, quite a bit of symptoms in early stage and slowly it improves, they feel better. That can be normal as well. Or some patients will say, look, you know, come in. They, for example, sadly, sometimes I diagnose miscarriage and patients do say they know when has the pregnancy stopped. They say, look, I was, you know, I have all the symptoms very clear up to like three, four days ago, it just stopped suddenly. Um, it can happen sometimes, it's not specific, but if there's any worry, for example, for my patients, contact me anytime or your, your obstetric team anytime, um, you know, get a scan just to reassure things are well. Now, there are tips and things we can do, try to improve the nausea and vomiting, which I'm gonna do in part two. I'm gonna actually read up uh, just a chapter in I don't think you can see very clearly here, but uh, it's a chapter uh, or page in my book for different tips to improve nausea and vomiting, which I'm going to do in different video. Oh yeah, actually I've got my first invoice from the physiotherapy. Um, I'm glad the system has gone well for my uh, precious mom's pregnancy care. Um, it, you know, if you're interested, I put the link below in the to look at the pregnancy care so kind of package that I produce for my patients. Um, I don't only want this happy to get an invoice, a bill to pay, but the idea is I pay for my patients who have physiotherapy, etc. 
um, it's for the comprehensive care. Right, I'm going to move on to a different video to talk about tips to prevent nausea and vomiting, part two. See you later.